Hi, hello, excellent slides here. We create excellent presentations. In this video, we will together design this business presentation in just PowerPoint. All right, so as you can see, this presentation, this slide is with this, uh, let's say, kind of green blue color. And I've also used white colors and this one black in the background. And also in the background, we can see just a photo that is grayscale. All right. So, yeah, so let's get started. First, we can copy this photo. So control C. Uh, ah, we have to create new slide. So let's do so. Yeah, our photo is pasted. Perfect. And as you can see, I've also changed it to grayscale. You can do it right here. Uh, picture format, color, and just select saturation to 0%. And now you have a grayscale. So this photo doesn't have any colors. Perfect. And the second thing will be to create these two shapes. So as you can see, if you enable slide show mode, we have this kind of rectangle, also here kind of rectangle, but here we have this kind of line. So you can create this shape by triangle right here, if I'm not mistaken, yes, you can do it by rectangle, but it will not be really convenient. So I used uh, this one, this is called parallelogram and let's do so. Yeah, the height of the slide. And now let me check the the size of it. So uh, 2849. All right, 2849. Perfect. 2849. All right. And now let's check. Let's preview the angle, because as you can see, here you can change the angle. So let's do so. The angle is uh, a little bit different, so let's maybe something like this one. Yes, that's really close. So let's place it like that. And we have to take this color. So mm, yeah, right click. And here you have fill and just choose this one if I'm not mistaken. No, this is not this color. So let just use let's just use eyedropper tool. So shape fill, eyedropper, and just hover on this color. Perfect. Control X to cut it and Control V to paste it. And we have to create the second the same the second shape. So Control shift and drag to the right. Perfect. As you can see, we have the copy of this shape. But here we have to change the color to pure black. Perfect. Now let's uh, position them right next to them. So yeah, that's cool. And now we have to group them. So select these two shapes. As you can see, there are select they are selected and use Ctrl G to group them. Or you can use right click and group and group. Perfect. Now we have to align them to the middle. So shape format, align and align, sorry, align to the center. Perfect. And now we can regroup them. So Ctrl Shift and G. Um, there is a little hole right here. So that we have to move them this shape to the left a little bit. Perfect. And now let's preview the transparency because as you can see here and here we have some transparency. 
So this green kind of color has 50% and this black has 20. So let's do so. Set 50 and here to 20. Perfect. And now let's start, well, let's continue with, uh, I think this one. Yeah, so generally I used Rubik font and this is 16 of size. And I just type excellent slides. Of course, you can type here your own company name or the company or your client's company name. So control C, control V. As you can see, this is just a normal text but it's rotated by 90 degrees and of course uh, this letter spacing is changed you can check it here and more spacing as you can see i used 15 points by 15 points let's say five and let's see the difference as you can see the letter spacing is completely different so let's use 15 like in the like earlier perfect and now let's uh, continue with uh, yeah with this slide title so business presentation right so here i used for this business rubik medium and 40 of size and here presentation this is just a rubik and 36 of size and of course this presentation is white color and this business is this kind of green color perfect and yeah so let's copy them let's copy it and let's paste it that was really easy because that's really easy so i i don't do that from the scratch right all right so now we can copy this line this yeah it's actually a line so control c and control v perfect and now maybe this text our company creates professional powerpoint presentations for customers around the world quality of our work and relationship with our customers are crucial for us so yeah i just uh wanted to i didn't want to paste here lorem ipsum so i type I typed something like that. So control C and control V. As you can see, this is Rubik light and 14 of size. And our last thing is this kind of button. So it will be a little bit advanced trick, but I will show you how to how to do that. So control C and control V. All right. So, how I created it, uh, this one, uh, give me a moment, yeah, so this rectangle is just a simple rectangle without fill, so shape fill, no fill, because if you select fill to white or to black, as you can see, we don't see this photo in the background, so no fill. And I just used shape outline, as you can see the wave of one and a half, perfect. The color is also this kind of green, like here, here and here. And I just inserted a, a text box, find out more, of Rubik light. And we have to position them in the middle and in the center. So select these two objects go to the shape format section align center and align middle perfectly let's preview our work yeah it looks really professional and of of course modern and the last thing is to align these all objects to the left of course it is already aligned because i was using copy and paste tool but there is a one there is one problem with aligning objects in powerpoint let's create let's select these all objects perfect so now if we would like to align it to the left let's do so align to the left as you can see 
PowerPoint aligned it to the left, but it looks, let's say, terrible. Why? I will tell you. Because as you can see, uh, for example, in this line, here, this line ends, right? So this is mm, the end of this shape. But in text box, as you can see, the letters ends right here, but the text box starts here. So a little bit to the left, right? And that's the reason why PowerPoint aligned it, um, let's say, in an ugly way. So we have to, regrettable, but we have to do it manually. So something like that, something like uh, that, and the last button, something like, maybe use arrow keys, it will be more convenient. All right, so let's preview that. Mm. Yes, I think that's that's really close. All right, so that's all about this slide design. I hope you liked it because it seems it looks really professional, really modern, and it matches really good to business presentations, pitch decks, IT, etc. Yeah, so I would like to encourage you to watch our to watch more our videos. Please also give us likes below this tutorial, subscribe to our valuable channel if you are interested in PowerPoint and slide design. Have a great day and lead a happy life. Excellent slides!